Hey guys, smoking Uncle Frank here. I finally went and got one. Got me a ballistic head. Uh, a cheap one on Amazon. Cause I ain't spending that kind of money they want for them. You know they want they want like three thousand dollars for those uh ballistic dummy lab um uh, torsos with the bones and the blood and all that in them. I mean, I guess there's a lot of work that goes into them. It's three th over three thousand dollars for the damn things. I don't know how a guy can afford to buy that kind of stuff. I can't even spend that much money on a gun, let alone let alone a head. But I wanted to see what kind of um. Uh, what I get out of my, uh, what kind of penetration I'm going to get, because I, I wasn't getting that with it with, with the gummy bear, although we're going to do the gummy bear too today, uh, with something else. I want to do some comparisons. So, it might be a long video. I don't know. We'll see. First up, a 22 caliber. Avenger versus the head with some pointy rounds. I'll show you what I'm shooting later, but uh, yeah, got it finally pretty well sighted in now, so pretty good. I know I'm going to hit him. Yep, I hit him. Put a couple of them in him. I think I hit him in the chin there or the mouth, I'm not sure. Go for the dome. Three. And I, by the way, I did charge this completely, so it's got a full tank. Four shots should be fine for now. Just want to see what kind of pen. I've always wanted to know what kind of penetration these things give you. And I couldn't tell at all with the other thing, so. But, now that I got it clear enough, I guess, I can get some kind of an idea of what it's doing. Oh, yeah. There we go. I hit him in the side of the head, and I hit him in the neck there, pretty close to the edge there, but, uh, let me back this out. Back it out so you can see where I hit him. You can see the line right there. And there's another line right there. It goes in pretty far. Oh, they went all the way. They almost went all the way through. Actually, there's the rounds. One, two, three. Uh, should be four. Unless they're on top of each other. They might be. Oh, no, there's one down here. And the one down here... Looks like it went out. Looks like it went completely through his neck. So, not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. Now, but we shot that one. I gotta put the head back. So excuse me as I stick my butt in your face. But now. We're going to compare it with the Beeman. Beeman, uh, Beeman Commander. Uh, before I do that, though, what do I have in here? Uh, I don't remember what I put in here, so I got to look. I got a look. Sorry, guys. I can't tell what I got in here. I don't have a loop here either. I'm going to flash for it so I can look at it, maybe. 
They got some domed ones in here, so yeah, you know what I got. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it with these instead. Since I already got them loaded. to hit him in a different spot. I don't know if I'm getting it though. Again. I always forget and cock it one time and then forget and go and cock it again and I gotta take a cartridge out because I don't want to double I don't want to double load it. I'm hitting him though because he's jiggling. He's jiggling. I just want to see if they go. One more. See how far in they go. If I can tell, I don't know. Put one right on the top of his head. Uh, or somewhere near there anyways. I think this one here shoots a little bit low. Because it's the closest I could get it. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I hit him in the I hit him in the mouth. I hit him right in the mouth. Here. And you can see, yeah, they went almost all the way through too. Other side, I got them on the other side here. You can see where it went in right there, and then went all the way back, almost, almost completely through the back. It not quite as far, but still pretty good. Not too bad. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this head, though. I'm going to shoot this thing some more later on on my own. It was like 60 bucks when I got done with everything. So, But we're not done with the head yet. And we're done with, we're done with, the, uh, done with the PCPs for now, though. But... I want to do something else. I want to know. So, we're going to keep this one last time at him because I don't want to, I don't like to leave my gun cocked. So I'm just going to blast him with this one here, right here. Down in the neck. Safety off. I didn't have it cocked, okay. Never mind then. I thought I had it. But I didn't. Okay, then I don't have to shoot it. I don't like to leave them cocked when they're not when they're not being fired. Only only when I'm firing them will I cock them, so that one there is good. Now, now we're going to get, oh, I'll be back. i got to get the gummy bear. Comparison time.
I know I should have had the gummy bear out already, but now yeah, I tell you. So this gummy bear is he's hard. He's a hard sucker. Of course they both both I've had them both from the refrigerator, so but I just wanna know. I gotta see. I gotta lean him a little bit because otherwise he's gonna jump out of the box. So I'm curious. Sorry guys. Excuse my rump. Excuse my butt shot. I want to see what is going to happen when I shoot the gummy bear and the head both with uh, some paintball. I got some Grimbergs and my Kipman here. My Kipman Chip X. So, and it's fully charged. I want to hit the gummy and I want to hit the other guy, so. Mm hmm. You know what? Let me grab something here. Because I'm a little closer this time. I don't want to get banged in the face with one of them. I had one hit me right in the middle of the forehead one time. Bounced back on me. <coughs> so, we're just going to shoot the gummy. Nothing. And nothing. Well, we know that didn't work. So, we know that. I ain't no sense in going any further with that. Yep, and I forgot to do that, but that's okay. I had pointed in the same direction at the bed. Mm. Empty the gun. That's okay. <coughs> Fly my other round later on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mm, four. Okay. Last thing, we're going to see what the M17 does to the gummy and the head. I know the M17 is a little more powerful. And I got one more I want to try too now I'm thinking about it. Got my Sig Sauer. Gotta try that one. So. Yeah, I got uh, one of these loaded. I don't think so. Mm. No, no, I don't want to shoot those. No, I don't want to shoot those. I'm just going to put a couple of Grimberg HP-68s in it. Just a couple of them to see what they'll do. And see what happens to, to the head and the gummy. With this guy. Alright, I think we got it in good. Now, gear it up. Nope, it's geared up. Nice little click noise. I got it fully charged. So, Make sure I got it on semi. I don't want to be shooting on fully auto at the thing. Hmm. In the head. Yep. Alright, well we know one thing. 
M17 did some damage. So. Alright. M17 definitely going to do a number on somebody. I don't know if it went through the gummy though. Yeah. I got to see. No, it didn't. I missed him. Or it bounced off of one of the two. Uh, this gummy's this gummy's really hard. A lot harder than than the yellow head. I can push my finger in this gummy. I have to really. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go anymore with the gummy because I hit him. I know cause I can tell because the round is sticky. I have to wash that off, but. Yeah, get out of the way. Didn't go real deep, but it went in pretty good. Give you an idea here. This guy is heavy. This guy is not light at all. But, like you see here, that's where the round hit him, in the dunk, right in the forehead, too. Uh, I'm not even going to try to dig that out. I'm going to leave it in there. For now. Well, maybe I will dig it out. I don't know. But. Man. I wouldn't want to get hit in the head with one of them things. I guarantee you that. So. <laughs> that would not be fun. I had to know. I just had to know. Now we're just going to do the head. Head's going to get it. With a Sig Sauer. This is my Sig Sauer. Um, MCX177. It would only got loaded in here though. Let me just pull this out for a second and see what I got in this thing. I don't remember what I loaded it with. I know I had it loaded. Oh yeah. Alright. This is gonna do some this is gonna do some serious damage. It's got to I got the hornets in this guy. I'm not going to shoot them all because uh, they cost me they're more money. But, I'll pop them a few times here. Maybe five or six. Just adjust the camera. I got it pretty well adjusted now. You got a good close view. All right. Put the green dot on them. And the loaded, we're charged. Got, got charge it. Five's good. No safety. And my green dot off. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they didn't go in very far. 
it kind of created though you know when it about you now you can't really tell very well but well maybe you can let's see let me uh, zoom out you can kind of see where uh I'm not getting a good picture it went in right there in the forehead there you can see where a couple of them this one here right there it didn't go in very far when it, it went in though I wouldn't want to get hit in the face with it that's for sure well I doubt I'll ever be shooting anybody in the face with it at least I hope not let me just uh, Because his head split open now. He got a big old split in his head. Look at that. They just split him. Which means I can grab these. I can get this guy out now. And reuse it. Alright. Well, that's it for now, guys, I guess. Uh, just wanted to see. I figured you might be interested in seeing what kind of penetration um that um <laughs> boy i'm a that that uh era that 22 um uh, does a number anyway guys i hope you enjoyed see y'all later have a great day guys